Enough to make a nigga go crazy. All right, let me stop playing with y'all. So it's the ODB Oil Review, man. Let's get it started, man. One of my favorite magical tools. I got a few stories to share with y'all. Let's get into it. Okay, so I heard the lecture, the ODB lecture, and Wu-Tang, the eight immortal gods. This was a very inspiring lecture to hear. So I ordered the ODB oil. Came about two months later in the mail. <laughs> Came about two months later in the mail, but it was worth waiting for. I already knew what time it was dealing with panic. I was like, I know I'm gonna have to wait for this shit. You know what I'm saying? So I don't even start checking the mailbox when I order some panic shit till like a month go by. You know what I'm saying? After like a month and a few days, then I start checking the mailbox like, where's my shit panic? Come on. And panic, I just I just got to visualize my shit coming in the mail. Like you got to magic your shit in with panic. You, you can't expect that shit to be coming in three days. You got to fucking do some magic visualizations and shit and fucking imagine your shit coming a little faster than normal to hopefully get it after a month. But anyway, my shit comes in the mail after a month and a half. I'm ready. I'm fucking ready. I've been waiting. <laughs> I've been waiting oh so long. I've been listening to ODB. I was already listening to ODB for a month already. You know what I'm saying? Before the shit had even got there. So it comes in the mail. I open it up. Boom. Rub it on my wrist. Rub it on my temples. First, I had to go to the store. You know what I'm saying? Get a beer. Had a blunt. You know what I'm saying? I was already listening to ODB for like a month straight. So I throw on the Wu-Tang, that was the first thing I did. You know, I'm drinking my little beer, smoking my blunt, you know what I'm saying? My little joint or whatever. I throw on the Wu-Tang, 36 Chambers, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, baby, I like it, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I start going in, I'm listening, I'm feeling good and shit. Something tells me to throw on Method Man, you're all I need. Not the, not the, not the video of Mary J. Blige version, the original version. You know what I'm saying? That joint when the beat is like, ba bam, ba bam, ba bam, ba bam. You know what I'm saying? The original. I gotta love Jones for your body and your skin tone. Five minutes alone, I'm already on the bone. Plus, I like a fact you got a mind of your own. They need to shop around. You got the goods and stuff at home. Even if I'm locked up north, you in the world, walking three slopes of course, never showing your stuff off, boy. That that shit right there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Drinking my beer and shit, yo. The love energy from this song started hitting me so hard, son. You know what I'm saying? I started feeling the little convulsions in my stomach and shit, yo. I'm on my, I'm on the ground. You know what I'm saying? Underneath my computer and shit, I'm on the ground. Eyeballs rolling in the back of my head. I start feeling like I was like this crazy love energy. It's hard for me to explain. I think I fell into a out of ecstasy or some shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm on the floor, you know what I'm saying? Shivering and shit, you know what I mean? Like, you're all, I need, ba -pow, ba -pow, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the shit is here, and the shit hits me dumb hard like I'm rolling or something, you know what I'm saying? Like, I done took an e-pill and shit, so I'm on the floor shaking and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, whoa, this fucking oil is the truth, you know what I'm saying? My girl gets home from work. I'm like, yo, you gotta try this fucking oil, son. I just been listening to this shit, listening to fucking Method Man and shit, son. This shit is crazy. Boom. I forgot one part though. So when I'm using the oil, I start seeing the nigga and shit too, son. The nigga looked like electricity and shit, son. You know what I'm saying? I start visualizing the nigga in my crib. He's just darting around my crib and shit like fucking electricity bolts but you could see the afro and his teeth and shit sticking out you know what i'm saying that shit was ill boom i tell my girl like she's not even spiritual like that i'm like yo i got the odb oil you gotta try this shit son this shit is ill let's see what happens when you put it on <laughs> she ain't even spiritual like that but she fuck with music and shit like that you know what i'm saying so she puts on the odb or she rubs it on the temples it starts burning her, son, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh shit, it was burning her temple, so we had to get a towel and shit and wipe the shit off. I'm like, yo, her mind is probably not ready for the ODB oil yet. I'm like, yo, just put it on your wrist. I'm like, yo, I wanna fuck you to Wu-Tang and shit. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I wanna fuck you 
<laughs> with some Wu Tang on this shit. I'm like, yo, I always wanted to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? We throw on the fucking Wu Tang on YouTube and shit through the TV. You know what I'm saying? We smash to the joint. Boom, that was that or whatever. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, another thing that I did, right? was I would anoint my statues and shit with the oil. I kind of had to chill out with it though because like one of my Buddha statues that I had for a minute before I got the newer ones, I was rubbing this oil on it a lot and the drink got kind of sticky, you know what I'm saying? Like I had to wash it down like with a toothbrush, you know what I mean, to get the stickiness off. And I had to do that a couple of times. So I wouldn't advise like draping your statues and this shit in your oil because they're gonna get all sticky and shit. You know what I'm saying? But I was getting mad knowledge. I started learning astrology. I was getting a lot of knowledge. Buddha brings wisdom and knowledge. So when I was doing that, I was getting crazy knowledge and wisdom from them Buddha statues. You know what I'm saying? More recently, I got an Egyptian altar and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I got an Egyptian altar. I got a big ass Anubis, big ass Osiris, Big Isis with the wings and all that. I got a little Horus, big Bastet. So, you know, they all kind of sitting there. You know what I mean? I put some little water in there for it, but I ain't really like hype them up like that. I haven't, to be honest, I haven't really been working with them hard body like that. But something just told me I took the ODB oil, boom, just give them a little dab on the forehead area. Just a little dab on the forehead. You know what I'm saying? A nice little wine glass or whatever on the floor in front of the altar. Boom, I dab them up with the ODB oil, right, right? So I got these two little black kittens recently and shit. I got these two black kittens, you know what I'm saying, running in my house. Running around my house. They're crazy and whatnot. They're a little off the chart, you know what I'm saying? They got mad energy. They be running around a lot. So they wasn't really rocking with the Egyptian altar. They was by my little Hindu altar, but they wasn't rocking with the Egyptian altar like that, the two cats. But after I anointed the deities with the ODB oil, they started playing around the altar and whatnot. So I noticed that they started drinking the water that I had in the wine glass underneath the altar. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at the cat. They taking turns and shit too with it. You know what I'm saying? One dip his head in the wine glass, sipping, 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 take, you know what I'm saying? Take his turn and the other one in the wine glass. So I'm like, why are they drinking out of this water? They got their bowl of water next to their fool. Like, what are they drinking out of this water for? I take some of the water, rub it across my forehead right after they did it. That night had the L lucid dream, B. Had the L lucid dream that night. I'm with my cousin, taking my cousin everywhere, shopping, giving her money. We just having wild fun. And her man was wild, jealous of me, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Her man was like, this nigga couldn't sleep in the dream. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was just crazy jealous that I was splurging on my cousin like that. You know what I mean? And in my in my natal chart and shit, I got issues with close friends and whatnot, karmic soulmates and shit. So I could see why I went up, you know what I'm saying? This is kind of like my nigga. We developed a friendship over year, over the years since he started dating my cousin. I seen dude as being jealous, so I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Damn, this nigga right here, you know what I mean? After that, I kept rubbing that water on my forehead, right? And I was still having lucid dreams. But let me take it back even further. This is more recent. Let me take you back to when I first got it, right? I'm dealing with chicks and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm dealing with shorties. And, you know, I wanted to meet some magical shorties or whatever. But the chicks that I was meeting wasn't like on my level spiritually, right? The chicks that I was meeting wasn't on my level spiritually, right? It got to the point where I was getting tired of shorties and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, it's damn near impossible to find some real shit out here. I'ma just go straight to the deities themselves. I'm like, yo, I'm just gonna go straight to the gods and smash the gods. That's like how Panic be talking about. He be smashing gods and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Why the first deity I chose to do this with was Sekhmet. Oh my God, right? She was a little bit too much for me. Let me tell you the story. <laughs> Put on my ODB oil and shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, 
I'm gonna smash a segment, you know what I'm saying? I say her name a hundred times, invoke an M. Shit, that's how you invoke segment. She got like a hundred different names. You say them all or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You'll feel her energy. Boom, she comes in. So, <laughs> I'm on my bed and shit, I'm half meditating, you know what I'm saying? Visualizing and whatnot. The sun rays start coming through the window and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? And you can see the sun rays coming through the window. So I'm kind of winding like a snake <laughs> in the sun rays and shit right there, right? Boom, Sekhmet comes through. I don't know why, but she looks Spanish. You know what I'm saying? She had fire eyes. Like the pupil in her eyes was like fire. And it was like kind of coming out on the top and the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like that eye from um, the movie uh, Lord of the Rings. That big ass eye. That's how her eyes look. So she got two fire eyes and whatnot. She's Spanish with a leather red suit on and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was trying to make her black. I'm like, Sekhmet gotta be black. I don't know why she was looking Spanish. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why. I tried to make her black. She didn't want to be black. She wanted to be Spanish. So, boom, I started trying to smash Sekhmet and shit. I'm smashing. You know what I'm saying? Winding in the sun rays and shit. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm winding in the sun rays and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to smash her. This bitch got vampire fangs and shit like that. Fucking fire coming out of her eyes. I was like, ah, all right, man. You're this little, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't even keep going and shit. I'm like, you, you too much for me and shit. You know what I'm saying? You got too much fucking primordial power and shit like that. that you know? So I kind of fell back or whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? I kind of chilled out, but still... It was an ill experience, you know what I'm saying? Sekhmet was looking crazy with the fire eyes and shit, Spanish and whatnot. So I'm like, all right, that was Sekhmet, you know what I'm saying? I was like, let's do another one, you know what I'm saying? There's more deities and whatnot, you know what I mean? Let's try another one. I go to Quan Yin, you know what I'm saying? I start dealing with Quan Yin. Boom, put on my ODB oil, you know what I'm saying? Start tapping into Quan Yin and shit, you know what I'm saying? I just started researching her, opened up the gateway or whatever, boom. I'm visualizing Kuan Yin. Kuan Yin had the fattest, softest ass ever, son, you know what I'm saying? And I was grabbing her ass and the shit was just so soft and, and just fat. She just had the nicest ass, you know what I'm saying? I'm just grabbing it. And that was all I could really do. Like, she was really beautiful and divine, you know what I'm saying? She had this long Chinese dress on and whatnot, sparkling all white and shit like that, with her hair looking all perfect on some Chun Li shit. You know what I'm saying? So I grabbed her ass a few times and she was so divine, I couldn't even, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't even get into that horny mode with her or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I just took it at that. I got a few ass grabs and I kept it moving, like, you know what I mean? I started studying Kuan Yin more after that experience, and I realized that Kuan Yin was like half man, half woman, or something like that in her mythology. I was like, damn, no wonder. No wonder, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't even go through with the shit, man, you know what I mean? Kuan Yin was a dude at first and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? I was like, oh man, damn, at least I was, you know, just grabbing her butt and shit like that, but. That's what happened with Kuan Yin, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I couldn't go all the way with her and shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> then I had another experience where I spoke to my ancestor, Swami Vivekananda, you know what I'm saying? Put on the ODB oil, I went to the beach, you know what I'm saying? Meditating and shit like that, I zoned out. Zoned out, boom, Swami comes through. This nigga had me laughing for... 40 minutes straight, B. My ancestor. Can't remember what the fuck he was saying, son, but this nigga had me dying laughing. I tried to come home and write most of what I could remember down and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? There was one part that was funnier than ever and shit. You know what I'm saying? Where the nigga was like, you don't think you don't run to Krishna? Nigga was fucking cursing me out, son. This is how he said it. He was like, you don't think you don't run to Krishna? You don't think you don't run to Krishna? You name your son God, God, and God. You wanna be God? Okay, you can be God. You wanna be God too? Okay, you can be God too. You wanna be God? Everybody God, everybody God. <laughs> 
So yeah, son, my ancestor was cursing me out and shit. You know what I'm saying? This is the one line that I can remember and shit that he says. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You have to kind of know my life to understand what that means. But I was trying to make it cool for kids to call themselves God and shit. You know what I'm saying? After their names in this basketball thing or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And I was trying to make that like the wave, like to call yourself God, like sham God. You know what I'm saying? So my son's name is Hezzy God, you know what I'm saying? And I, he's like popular and shit. So I tried to make that shit cool for you to put God after your name. So the nigga Swami Vivekananda was like, <laughs> he was like, you name your sons God, God, and God. <laughs> you want to be God? Okay, you can be God. You want to be God too? Okay, you can be God too. You want to be God? Everybody God, everybody God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Words. So I spoke to my ancestors with this shit, son. You know what I'm saying? Like, this shit is ill. This shit is like one of the illest magical tools ever, son. You get the bottle, the shit got little flower pieces in it and shit. You know what I'm saying? It smells like candy and shit. You know what I'm saying? It smells like some back in the days, you know, fucking fruit punch, Jolly Rancher type of candy and shit. You know what I'm saying? Word. You put this shit on, like, when you're gonna go see a shorty, you're gonna be smelling like wild candy and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's not like cologne. You smell like fucking Halloween and shit. You know what I'm saying? You smell like a Halloween bag after putting this shit on. You know what I mean? <laughs> my hip-hop jumps on your head like rain. And when it rains, it pours of my rhymes hardcore. That's why I give you more of the raw talent that I got, which was out the spot. MCs, I'll be burning, burning hot. Whoa, ho, ho. Let me like slow with the flow. If I move too quick, oh, you just won't know. Word, son. So the illest thing that I got from this shit, because I, I worked with this nigga for a whole summer. It wasn't like I just did the oil and, you know, just put it down. Like, no, like I worked with this shit for a whole summer. It was just me and ODB. Like, you know what I'm saying? The one thing that I got, you know what I'm saying, was how to have astral sex, how to have astral sex with deities other people, you know what I'm saying? I had to learn ethics. I had to learn ethics with the shit <laughs> from Angelic Karma, you know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> ODB taught me how to have astral sex, you know what I'm saying? How to get in that mold, you know what I'm saying? And how to do it and shit like that. Now, I've never had astral sex in my dreams, but I've had it with my imagination, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> So I haven't gotten to that point where I'm astral traveling in my dreams and done it, but I've done it with my imagination. So that's the next level that I gotta get to is when I'm astral traveling in dreams and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And doing other shit. Word, but that's my experience with the ODB oil. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, shout out to Brother Panic, shout out to Khadija Samedi. You know what I mean? I suggest you go cop that oil if you into the woo. You know what I'm saying? And you're spiritual. This this right here will definitely help you get to another level. Very good for meditation. Connecting with ODB. Learning astral sex. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And getting all that energy from the 36 changes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Word. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you feel like this video is life changing or inspiring, make sure to drop a dollar on my cash app at Rap Mythology. It's the reincarnation of Ramakrishna, her yoga empath, and I'm kicking brand new flavor in your ear. That brand new flavor in your ear. Uh.